with a messy little face. Welcome to the Aries New Moon, and it's time to follow your dreams. I love this new moon. It could be one of the best new moons of the year. The Aries New Moon is on April 18th, and there's no challenging aspects to it. Now, if you want to know what this new moon means for you individually, you go to my April astrology forecast and look up your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, your ascendant, and I go into detail in each podcast as to where this new start, this Aries new moon is happening for you. I love this new moon. It's at 28 degrees Aries. It has cleared Uranus. It has cleared Pluto. And it is a fresh start. It is new beginning. It is pure positive energy. It's puppy love. And they called it puppy love. <laughs> and what I mean by that is it's raw energy but it's fire Aries is the first fire sign so it's this uprushing of life it is the night before he goes out onto his journey where he's filled with hope and inspiration he hasn't met any opposition yet he hasn't met any obstacles yet he has hope in his heart and that's what this new moon means for you personally this is a wonderful time to start a new business, start a new relationship, start a new project. It's about new beginnings. And it's late in Aries, which means it's mature. It's not an immature Arian energy. It's not um, self-absorbed or narcissistic, and Leos can be that way too. Um, it is mature. So in other words, it's the responsibility of recognizing your destiny is in your own hands, that you have the power to uh, achieve your goals, to achieve your dreams, to make your dreams come true. You have the power and you're being given the energy from the universe. The universe is saying to you, here is your fresh start in 2015. Here is your new beginning. Here is the pure positive energy for you to create anything your heart desires. What are you creating? What gives you passion? Passion is more important than ambition. Ambition is overrated. You know, climbing the corporate ladder when your heart's not in it, you're not going to be successful. You're going to be the most successful when you follow your passion, when you find your point of brilliance, what you're really good at, what makes you feel alive. This is a wonderful energy to get in touch with life again, to feel excited about your life, to feel excited about what you're doing and where you're going and who you're doing it with. Although Aries represents the individual, so it is up to you. It is your life, your destiny. What do you want to do with it? Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Norman Vincent Peale. And that's what this moon means. Shoot for the moon. And you cannot fail if you use this energy in a proactive way going after your goals, going after your dreams, going after what you want. I love this moon. It's an awesome moon. It is pure positive energy. There's nothing challenging this new moon. And I haven't seen anything like that this year. And when I look ahead, I don't see that either. Now that doesn't mean there isn't going to be great energy throughout the year. There is. What I'm saying is, here you have this fantastic Aries new moon, and there's nothing in the way. That's the universe saying, I'm giving you a green light. I'm making the road clear so you can move forward. You can get in the car and you can drive forward. The rest is up to you. It's up to you with what you want to create. This is a fantastic energy to use to set your intention for what you want to create the next 30-day cycle or throughout the year. Now, the planets are going to move very quickly into Taurus 
in a couple of days and that's a time to set your intention to create wealth right so Aries gives you the power and the strength and the courage and the bravery and the boldness to speak your truth and be who you really are Taurus grounds that energy so that you can make your dreams come true so that you can align with your core values and create wealth for yourself create greater abundance money and love are the same energy and when you align with what you love and value and you use the fire energy to go after what you want you will be successful you will be successful at whatever you're going for and you're here to have it all a great life loving what you do the abundant life Pluto will retrograde April 16th through September 24th so Pluto's pulling back now and it's not touching the moon uh, this uh, Aries new moon this moon is past Pluto so there's no Plutonian energy with this moon it's pure positive energy it's uplifting and inspiring and Pluto is retrograding and that's going to give you an opportunity to integrate all of the Plutonian experiences and lessons that you have been working with since Pluto went direct last year and so now you're getting a break from Pluto from uh, April 16th through September 24th he's pulling back Uranus is moving forward at the time of the Aries new moon Uranus is at 17 degrees so they're now separating so now they have almost a two degree orb of separation hallelujah and it's going to continue to separate uh, until they reach about a five degree orb of separation and then Uranus will retrograde and then they'll start pulling closer together but they're never going to go exact again for a while for many many decades so um, although Uranus is going to eventually move into Taurus and trying Pluto that's going to be uh, fantastic and that will be a whole different energy than what it's been with uh, this Pluto Uranus square challenging all of us so Pluto retrograde is going to give you an opportunity to integrate what you've learned since uh, like I said the last retrograde which happened uh, last year now when Pluto retrogrades he does point out your weaknesses and limitations we all have vulnerability we all have weaknesses we all have limitations the goal is to work with them when you work with your limitations they become tools to manage your life right there's only only so many hours in the day and you can only work so many of those hours that's a limitation that is a limitation of living in the physical realm you have a physical body you live in the physical realm there are physical limitations now Pluto likes to flush out our weaknesses but the opportunity here is to recognize how your buttons get pushed who's pushing your buttons what's pushing your buttons because it's not about the other person pushing your buttons they may not even be trying to it's an opportunity to look at okay you know what makes me feel weak and vulnerable what makes that soft fleshy side of me feel scared and insecure okay that's your opportunity to put your arms around yourself and love your inner child and love your soul and love who you are you see so it's not about putting on this bravado of false strength right where we're just like nothing touches me no no one that's a human being can say that right you are a great spiritual being but you're in a human body which means you are a human being and you're going to have great strength and that soft fleshy side and so when I coach people I always focus on your strength because when you focus people on their strength that strength spills over into other areas of their life so those other areas that used to feel weak to them now become strong so you always focus on people's strengths not on their weaknesses you see focus on what's working don't focus on what's not working focus on where you can go with this energy don't focus on where you're blocked or limited 
recognize, okay, there's only so many hours a day and I need to sleep, <laughs> right? There's only so much I can do, right? And so recognize where you can pour this energy, where you can go creatively, where you can go and be pure positive energy, be in your inner child, forget the adult part, forget the, the limitations in the sense of, you know, I can't do this and I can't do that, but focus more on where you can use this energy to recreate yourself, to recreate who you are and who you want to be. This is a wonderful time to put your energy into any creative project that turns you on. Um, a relationship. This is a wonderful time for uh, dating and mating. It's springtime in the Northern Hemisphere. Everything is blossoming and blooming and the Aries energy is all about getting together and you know making love and passion and living life to the fullest and feeling alive, feeling alive with who you are, feeling alive with what you're doing. And you can figure it all out as everything goes into Taurus. So the sun enters Taurus on the 20th and then Mercury will couple with Mars. Mars is the ruling planet of Aries and Mars is in Taurus and this is really good because the pure positive energy just wants to go especially when it's Aries it's the first fire sign it's the Leo that grounds the Aries the, the Aries energy Aries is pure positive energy right and the Leo is fixed energy and fixed energy wants to ground it moves slower it moves more in a determined way and that's why it's great as we're moving into fixed determined earthy Taurus, we can ground this fire energy and we can use it in practical ways to increase your health, well-being and vitality. Your wealth is in your health. To increase your abundant supply. Taurus is a money sign. Scorpio is a money sign. So Taurus, Mars being the ruling planet of Aries in Taurus is awesome because, well one, Mercury's about to couple with him. And with Mercury coupling with Taurus, this can give you the ability to articulate your ideas and to speak your truth, right? And that is so important to say, hey, this is what I feel about this, and this is how I see this, and this is my truth. This is my truth. And when you do that, you empower yourself. So we're going to get three Mars is going to couple with Mercury three times. The first one's on April 22nd, and then the next one's going to be on May 27th, and then the final one will be on July uh, 15th, and each one will be in a different sign. This first one is in Taurus, practical, grounded, and then the second one will be in Gemini, communication, speaking, writing, teaching, socializing, networking. And then the third one will be in July, and that will be in Cancer, about your emotions and your feelings. But the first couple of Mars, the ruler of Aries, with Mercury is about speaking your truth and articulating the visions that you're getting with this Aries new moon. This new moon is going to be bringing in insight and understanding and it's it's about expanding consciousness to see what your life can be see what your future your future is filled with optimism and hope with this energy the universe is saying it's a green light I'm giving you this energy to do what you want with you have free will you are great spiritual beings and you can have what you want if you're willing to put the work in, stay focused and determined and not let negativity or the naysayers say no to your dreams or no to your heart's desire. So this is a fabulous, sizzling, Aries, new moon. Yeehaw! Okay, and so... Now, another thing that is really cool about this Aries moon is Mars is its ruling planet, the planet of action and desire, your drive in life, what gets you out of bed, what gets me in front of the camera to do the podcast, is in harmonious energy flow with Pluto. 
Mars is at 13 degrees 17 minutes Taurus at the Aries new moon. Pluto is at 15 degrees 33 minutes Capricorn. They're sister signs. They're in harmonious energy flow. This is positive energy. This is a sign from the universe that the universe wants to increase your prosperity. The universe wants to increase your abundant supply. The universe wants you to make your dreams come true. Make your dreams a reality. No matter what you've been through, no matter what's been going on, you can move forward with this energy and increase your prosperity, your money, and you can make your dreams come true. I love this new moon. It's a great fresh start. It's pure positive energy, and you can use it to move yourself forward and attract what you desire. Mercury enters Gemini on the 30th. Mercury loves being in Gemini because he rules Gemini, so he's very comfortable there. And we do have a Mercury retrograde coming up next month in Gemini and I go into that in the May astrology forecast at this Aries new moon shoot for the moon Don't grow Would you be so bold To forget that